this is what you call beach parking. I love it when I get comments with questions that inspire me of new video topics. In this case, a recent viewer inquired about how difficult it was to find parking near the beaches here on Guam. I had to laugh out loud thinking maybe he's from California or Hawaii or someplace like that with densely populated areas and overly crowded beaches. Or maybe he has just never visited a small island before. In any case, Guam is surrounded by water, and like many smaller islands in the western Pacific, beach access can be just a few steps away. I remembered when we lived in North Mississippi, when, if we wanted to go to the beach, we had to drive nearly six hours just to reach the ocean. From Gulf Shores and Orange Beach in Alabama, to Fort Walton Beach and Dustin in Florida, if the drive didn't wear you out, looking for a parking spot would, at least in the summer season anyway. These days, I believe that residents of Destin are allowed two annual passes per household so they can park without being charged at the paid parking spots along the busy sections of the beach. Those without passes will pay for parking. When you live on a tropical island, it's not like there's a lot of pent-up demand to go to the beach. I mean, it's always there, it's always available, and it's so easy to say, ah, let's go tomorrow. We pretty much live within a three minute drive to the beach closest to our house, and that's in traffic. And there's never a problem finding a place to park, unless there's a big event taking place like the annual Gov Guam Labor Day picnic, where everyone is invited, or the Japan Autumn Festival. But most days, like you see here, are not so crowded. Some beaches are even empty. As you can see here, if one wants to just pull over and drop a line in the water, the problem is not parking, it's keeping bait on your hook. When most people think of a tropical beach, they think of sand and coconut trees swaying in the wind. But not all beaches are created equal on an island of volcanic origin. While there are plenty of sandy beaches to enjoy, there are beaches with volcanic outcrops and beaches full of rocks and dead coral. And it's not always coconut trees. In this case, we've got pine trees. In my truck, I carry my swim fins and my snorkel, a fishing pole, reef shoes, and two beach chairs. For when we happen to come across spots like this, and if we ever get around to actually planning anything, a small cooler is usually involved. In this case here, we just parked along the road and walked 50 feet to the beach. I have to admit though that all beaches in Guam are not extremely convenient. Take this popular sunset spot for example. We had to park and walk about a block and a half. There are numerous beach spots on Guam, and beach access is mostly unrestricted, except for military installations. Here you can see how easily accessible this beach is to the parking area. This particular beach is on board the naval base, so unless you have base privileges, it is off limits to the general public, but there are many more spots to be enjoyed around the island. This day, I decided I would combine a breakfast and a tire swap on my truck with a beach visit, and when finished, I could take a swim or a snorkel afterwards. That's like mashing two potatoes with one fork, in my book.
this is done. Coffee's done. Time to go for a snorkel. We are at the saltwater pools of Inarahan. All right. She got lost, but I found her. She found her own little saltwater pool. Terry the Explorer with her Timuning City Slicker, City Slicker shoes. She's gonna tough it out. So, if you are heading to the beach here in Guam, you can pick almost any beach. I have no doubt that you will easily find a spot to park and have an easy walk to the beach. In some cases, you can find you a private spot and park within just a few feet of the water. Now, fiestas, they are a completely different story. You will need to come early to find a parking spot. Then you will undoubtedly eat more than you need to and maybe stick around for that second dessert. No worries though. You can always head to the beach the next day to work it all off.